this V watch worth it in 2022? Well, in order to get it, you need to pay $35. So off that alone, a lot of you guys are going to say, hell no. But wait, hold on. Before you click off the video, you should know that the price, as of right now, has dropped to $24.99. So maybe now it's worth it? But some of you may still be saying, why should you ever pay for a button remapping software? Especially this much, when there are much cheaper alternatives, especially free alternatives like the very famous DS4 Windows. Well, you can get it for free, but only for 14 days. Oh, but let's say you don't want the 14 day trial. You could just spend $7 to get a part of the program. And that's cool, but this review is about the whole program. I spent $24.99 for a reason. But the question is, should you spend $24.99 on this bad boy? Well, let's talk about it for a second. Now, before I continue, I gotta do a big shout out to my boy, Lawrence Adam. He's the one who put me onto the Rewas application about two months ago. And he asked me to do a review on it. And my fault, it took about two months. And you know, I wish I could have done it sooner, but life. Anyway, since then, Lawrence has pulled the trigger got the application, and well, here's how he feels about it right now in our little comment section thread. And you can go read it for yourself, I guess right here in the screenshot, or go to the video where it is and even comment your own opinions on that thread. Gotta do a big shout out to Lawrence, he's the one that made this video come to life. Now back to our regular scheduled programming. Even though it's just a button remapping software, it's probably the best one out right now. I know that's a claim, but let me back my statement. Rewast is the most versatile button remapping software in the market today. You can remap anything from your PlayStation 5 controllers all the way to your GameCube controllers, all the way to your Logitech, all the way to your Stadia, to your PS3, to your Switch, to your Joy-Con, to, to this thing, the Azerion, I think. You could do so much button mapping on this one thing for so many different devices, it's unbelievable. Now, some might argue, who cares? I'm never gonna use 90% of those controllers anyway. It's just overkill. And you know, you could be right. But at the end of the day, as more devices come out, Rewast will be adding them. And you might find yourself one day wanting to remap to one of those devices. I'm not saying that you would, and I'll even be honest with you here. I don't need to remap anything more than my PlayStation 5 and my Xbox controllers. But I'm just saying, with over 10 controllers that you can remap to, more will be added in the future may not be a terrible investment, especially if you're a button remapping kind of guy. But okay, let's talk about something else. The remapping itself, how good is it? Guys, I gotta tell you, I spent the $24.99 on this software, and let me say that this thing is A1. And for those who don't know what A1 is, A1 is a boy band that was formed in 1998. A1 is also just slang for the best, by the way, which is what I'm talking about. What I'm trying to say is that it is a top tier button remapping software. Now at this point in the video, you're probably thinking to yourself, ah, well this guy got sponsored. But no, I did not get sponsored. Rewas did not reach out to me, and I did not reach out to them. I got nothing for making this video, except hopefully a like and a subscription from you. It would really mean a lot and I'd appreciate it. Now those who have been subscribed to my channel for a while might say that normally I would do a deep dive and tutorial about a software like this, but Rewast is a very simple setup. You download, you install, it's done. Then as for the actual tools at play, I mean, it's just a button remapping software. Whatever you want your buttons to behave as, you just remap it to that. It's that simple. Now, here are a few examples of what makes Rewas special. There's a rapid fire setting available in the software that is worth noting. Okay, so to show you the rapid fire setting that I'm talking about, here we are in Apex Legends with the P2020. This is a gun that you have to constantly press the trigger in order to shoot. So, as you can see, if I shoot but hold down this trigger, it won't keep going. I have to, I have to spam that button physically in order to keep it going. But, if we head on over, to rewas and put the right trigger you see I have R2 for turbo which is the rapid fire setting at one millisecond okay we have it for turbo one millisecond it's mapped to the to R2 we're gonna turn this on remapping is on and look it gives you a warning it says using combo turbo and toggle buttons may be considered cheating in competitive games so that's something for you to know uh right now we're just having fun with it i do not think this would be a problem if you were playing in public lobbies you know whether it's regular cod or regular apex or battlefield i do not think it'd be an issue but in a competitive game this might be something you want to watch out for but here we are we're just going to click ok and we're heading back into apex legends 
Um, we're heading back into Apex Legends, and watch this. See, I don't have to. I don't have to keep spamming the trigger. I don't have to keep pressing it. It's right there. I could just keep. Now, the response on that can be a little iffy. It's not as as I would like, but a lot of times it will do the job. You see, it'll keep going. See, right there is a lot more consistent. See, a light there a lot more consistent. So, you know, th this is this is a this is a setting that you know a lot of people could really use. I know in other places. Um, you have controller settings that that are built into the controller where they can use rapid fire And then there are other softwares that do it. So it's not like this is new It's not like this is unique to Rewast But the fact that this comes along with a lot of other things in the program is a is a is a sweet treat because you get so many things in one place Setting up macros is also a much more in-depth experience one example of this is so in Apex Legends if you want to put away your guns you have to hold down triangle, right? Not, no, don't press it, pressing it just switches guns. You have to hold down triangle to get rid of them, right? So let's say I want to macro that to the left stick button so that instead of having to take off my right stick to put away my guns and put them back, I could just click the left stick while I'm moving, right? Here, I want to rewast and set that right here. You can see that it's pre-mapped right here. I went in, set up, this uh, macro right here where I was able to record it hold down the Y button for about 1,300 milliseconds and then after 1,300 milliseconds 1,320 milliseconds raise the right button up so I mean the Y button up so it was already recorded and it, it took note of that so now when I put this mapping on you'll see that in game oh in game, if I click the left stick, it goes off, comes back. Now you'll see that if I click it, it goes away, and then I can just press Y to bring it back. And that's how simple it is. And setting it up was just as simple. All I had to do was record it like this. Uh, let me delete these. I'll just do that and then record it, hold, and that was it. So you see? I just held it down. Now this one I did it quickly with 531 milliseconds, but it's the same thing. I'll just go back. Uh-huh. Nice. And then if I go back to Apex, it's the same thing. It's still the same thing, you see? Hold it, and then it goes, and then it comes back. So that's that, and I wasn't able to do that on DS4 Windows. DS4 Windows, they allow for macros, but time-sensitive in-depth macros like this were, were very hard to achieve on DS4 Windows, and when I did achieve it, it was very clunky or hit or missy. But this was clean, easy, and ready to go. So the macros are great, the features are dope, there's also RGB settings in case you know you're a colorful kind of guy. And on top of that, would you believe that there's like a whole list of configurations that you could download for GTA, Forza, 2K, Call of Duty, it doesn't matter. There's already preset configurations and profiles that you might find very useful. Instead of having to create your own, they have an abundance of lists for you to use. And for free, mind you. And overall, what it comes down to is that you're paying for an all-in-one button remapping, universal device accepting, software editing piece of genius that is honestly not even comparable to a lot of its other competition but again should you pay for it listen i'll bring it to you nice and easy rip off the band-aid if you are not a person that's playing every game on every console on every device out there then you don't need rewas if you're a person that doesn't plan on doing anything competitively you probably don't need rewas if you're a person that isn't comfortable spending seven to thirty five dollars on a software then you probably don't need Rewast. You see, Rewast is for those who either have money to spend or really need this program for high tier gaming. And most of us just aren't that, even me. I have a whole gaming channel, really don't need Rewast. DS4 Windows will do the job for most anything that I need and it's free, like uh, th that's why it's so popular. But great job Rewast, nonetheless, you are, in my opinion, 
the number one button remapping software out there. So that's my review for you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, man.